Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to find out what your PSP's motherboard version is. So right here, I have a PSP 1000, and there are several types of PSP 1000 motherboards. So if I wanted to replace it, let's say it's faulty, um, this is how I would find out what motherboard version I have. Now this doesn't just work on the PSP 1000, this works on every single PSP model, even up to the E1000 and the PSP Go. All you need to get this software running is just some basic custom firmware, so just like Pro or LME, not the permanent CIPL version, just the normal version that you would boot up. So what you guys want to do, make sure you have custom firmware. Um, I'm just running a basic um, Pro 6.61, not permanent or anything, and then we're just going to go over to the USB connection, press X, and then connect your PSP to your PC. On your computer, I will leave two links in the description, one for the PSP IDENT um, software, and the second link will be the PSP motherboards page. So the first thing we're gonna do is just download the um, app. So all you want to do is just click the green download now button, and it will download a zip file for us. So once it has finished downloading, you want to head over to your PC's downloads folder and just find a zip file in here. So what we can do, double click on the zip file and we can simply drag and drop the PSP ident file into our PSP's game folder. So here's my game folder. I'm just going to drag and just drop it across. It should copy across in about a second and you should be able to find it on here, right here. So now back on Google Chrome, on the PSP motherboards, this is actually on the wiki books, this tells us all information about PSP motherboards. So as I said before, this software is basically useful for finding out what motherboard your PSP actually has. So you can find out if you can create Pandora batteries, if you can unbrick using a Pandora battery, and the lowest possible firmware. I'm running a PSP 1000, a fat one, um, so my motherboard could be any of these. To be honest, I have absolutely no idea, but it's pretty much all the same for me because I can install like permanent patch using CIPL or use temporary custom firmware. Even though all PSPs can use temporary custom firmware, it's still interesting to see. As you can see, the PSP Street really can't use much. Infinity doesn't even work on it. And you can also see if you can install CIPL. Even um, CIPL does work on uh, um, this type of motherboard for the PSP 2000, so that is pretty interesting. Um, so if you have this PSP 2000, it's actually a pretty good model. Anyway, so let's go over onto my PSP and let's find out what motherboard type we have. Okay, so back off my computer, we can now start up this software and find out what motherboard my PSP has. So let's just scroll over to the game section, let's go onto our memory stick, and let's find the PSP identify software. So here it is, version 0.74, let's just press X to launch it up. So as soon as the software loads, it's going to give us all information about our PSP's motherboard, and UMD firmware and stuff like that. So the ones we're interested in is the motherboard model. Our one is TA-079 version three. So I will note that down so I can find out what type of motherboard it is over on their website. Um, the motherboard type is a FAT and this is a 1003 model. Um, the UMD firmware, we don't really need to know that, but it's 1.0.9.0. And that looks like pretty much everything. It says our PSP version, our battery as well. And possible custom firmware, yes, custom IPL as well. So if you want to take a screenshot of this so you can remember it, so you don't have to um, open up the software every time, you just press the circle button, and it's just going to take a quick screenshot for you. And now once that is done, you can just press X to exit. So let's go back onto my computer, and let's check out the information about this motherboard. So the PSP that I have is the FAT1000, with the TA079 version 3 motherboard. So if I did want to replace the motherboard if it was faulty, this is what I would search for on eBay or Amazon, and I might be able to buy a new one for a fairly cheap price. So that is pretty much it for this video. That is how you find out your PSP's motherboard, and um, pretty much all PSP versions, and they can all be run using temporary custom firmware. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.